What's good, y'all? It's a drill. You can actually record your screen on the Galaxy. You can't with any other Android, but you can with the Galaxy because Galaxy. It requires some installing, but it's officially from Samsung, and I gotta show y'all how to do it. All right, so first off, go to the link in the description. They'll bring you to a Google Drive folder and you gotta download those two files. And then you gotta look for your file manager. So if you go over to your apps and just look around here for the My Files app, then you should be able to find it. Or go over to the left and look for the Samsung folder and click on My Files. Or the folder might just be in alphabetical order, who knows. But you gotta go over to the Samsung folder or just look for My Files and then open that real quick. And then go over to internal storage, go over to download, and then look for those two files you downloaded. So you see how I have record screen, toggle, pi, apk, and sec record screen, apk, right? That's what you're going to install. And oh my god, Bixby is really going off right now. I don't know why it always does this. But go and click on record plus screen, underscore, toggle, underscore, pi, apk, and then you should go ahead and see this. So this is normal. So go ahead and click on settings, and then go over, click on allow from this source, and then go back. And then go ahead and click on install, and then it's gonna install. So once that's done, go ahead and click on done, and then go back and then download the second APK. Click on install again, just wait for it, and then you're all good in the hood. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. But all right, so now you got you a system, I guess system screen recorder, so go over to your notifications, right? Swipe down again, click on the three dots, Click on button order and then look for this. So you see it says record screen. So what you want to do is you want to drag it somewhere around here. You can drag it anywhere you want to, but I'm going to go and swipe over and put it over here. So I'm going to drag it right over here and then you're going to click on done. So now if I go over here, you see it says record screen. So I can just go and tap on that and then it's going to bring you to this. So it says, hey, you can record your screen now. That's really cool. We should have had that years ago, but blah, blah, blah. So go ahead and click on agree and then you're good. So now it's recording. So you can actually see the stop button here, which actually doesn't show in the video. So that's like really cool. But I'm gonna go and scroll around here and you can actually see that you can see my actual touches on here. And if I wanna pinch out, you can see both of them here and it just looks like a normal video. So if I wanna go and stop it, I will go and click on that or I go to the notification, just click on the notification. And then I could just play back the video. So you don't actually get audio through this thing, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I can see actually. All right, so I record this YouTube video and I'm gonna stop that and now we can see about that. But yeah, it just shows up in your gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that video there. And no, you can't hear anything. Okay, then. So you're not going to hear anything through the phone or tablet, and you're not going to hear anything through your voice, but it records your screen, right? But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and play that again, and you can see it's not 60 FPS or anything, but it's a screen recording. It's smooth enough. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. I just want to go ahead and show y'all that. So if y'all like this, go ahead and hit the like button because I know that's pretty cool. I've been waiting for this forever, but y'all really need to just put it in the system already. One UI 2.0, who knows? But come on, Samsung, we need you here. But all right, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. It should work on Android 9, which it did work for me. Android 8, Android 7, probably Android 6, probably nothing before that, though. But yeah, just see if it works for you. But that was much of you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Shout out to the Tab S4. And peace out.